So I'm doing a series of four videos for Autism Awareness Month and it's going to tie in with our Home Life series. So our Home Life series on YouTube um, answers your everyday questions. We explain why some people with sensory processing disorder might find it difficult to get their hair cut, why some people might bite their nails or find it difficult to trim their nails, why some people might find doing up zips difficult or buttons, why some people might wear their hood up while they're walking down the street to try and block out some visual information or other sensory input. So home life helps to explain why we might recognise some of these characteristics in relating to sensory processing difficulties. These four videos are going to take a slightly different slant and we're going to look at um, why some people with SPD are really really great photographers. So that's the first video. We're going to look at why um, someone might really really enjoy gymnastics. And these are all based on people that I support and I work with. So I have a lot of people who help me and give me their explanations and descriptions relating to sensory processing difficulties and that's how I create my immersive environments. It's all based on real descriptions that people experience in their everyday lives. So this first video is about photographers and designers. Um, so I am originally a graphic designer and I know lots of people who have sensory processing difficulties and absolutely love designing and capturing visual information. So that attention to detail, that visual processing, whether someone's hypersensitive to visual information, so maybe it's the fact that they use the design, they use the photography to be able to block out everything else around them. When they're looking down a lens, they're able to focus in and create this perfect picture, whether it's the patterns, whether it's the design, whether it's the colour, whether it's the layout. Something will be of particular interest to that person who's hypersensitive. They'll be drawn into something and they'll be able to focus on that and capture it beautifully. Um, they'll be able to recognise changes in the environment. So if we're thinking about designers, we need designers to be able to pick up all those tiny little changes and things that need to be corrected within a layout, whether they're using grids, whether they're using templates, depending on the typeface they're using, how the language fits together, all of those um, techniques are visually focused. So whether it's someone is using it to, to block out other information, so if they're hypersensitive, they've got a low threshold, they're trying to reduce the amount of other information coming in and focusing on this interest and talent. Or for some people, they might be using it as a way of receiving more information, processing more. So if they're giving themselves more visual input, they're then able to be aware of their body and concentrate and regulate themselves better throughout their day. That's what their body needs. They're really aware of the needs. Um, some people it might be relating to um, hyper response to their sense of movement and gravity, so vestibular sensations. If I'm taking photos, if I'm a designer, I don't have to move as much. So our vestibular sense is any time we receive kind of physical input. So when we move up and down um, in relationship to gravity, we get more sensations of movement. So if I'm sitting at a desk and designing, I don't have to worry about that. I'm in control. I'm able to reduce the amount of movement that I have in my, in my daily life. And for other people it might be relating to sound. So we know if someone's hypersensitive, if they have a low threshold to a sensation, the way that they will be supporting themselves is by being in control, is by trying to reduce as much of that sensation in the environment as possible. So if I'm sensitive to sound, hy hypersensitive to auditory information, I might be able to block that out by focusing on something that I really enjoy. So I might also wear headphones, I might listen to music, but my primary focus is actually on the artwork that I'm doing to be able to regulate myself. 